Hello and welcome to Movie Chat and I'm Steve. Now a couple of weeks ago I did a video that showed you my small but ever growing uh, physical media collection, my DVD collection and Blu-ray. And on that video I asked you, is it worth upgrading some of my favourite films to Blu-ray? Now as a happy accident should happen, uh, it's starting to go that way. Uh, so on the video I showed you a copy of The Running Man Now I did say I love this film um, We had it as homework the other week on our live show And when I saw it in CEX uh, I had to pick it up um, On this one though I didn't actually pick this one up Little Steve picked this one up for me as a present when he came to see me Because uh, he knew how much I loved the film so he got that one for me Um on the same vein, as you can see, I love me Predators and me Terminator, and I have got Predator 1 and 2 on a special DVD box set. Now, I love the reflectiveness on this box, and it is part of me Predator shelf up the top there. Um, it goes next to the big alien. So, when I come to watch it, I have to destroy me display to get to it. So... This was in CEX, now it's the Predator Trilogy, so this is Predator 1, 2 and Predators. So I thought, it's on Blu-ray, I'll pick it up, save me be destroying, me, destroying my display, um, and we'll go for it. Now one thing I am noticing about these Blu-rays is that there is so much more, so much more, sorry, uh, special features on the Blu-rays than they are on the so-called Special Edition DVDs. Um, another DVD case that's part of my di display there is my Terminator 2 one. Now this is embossed with the, the Terminator face and stuff like that. It's the Extreme DVD collection. Again, to watch this, and I do watch it quite regularly, I have to destroy my display. So, 50p at a car boot sale. Terminator 2. Now, this is the Cyberdyne edition, so it's not as good as the Extreme edition, but it has got a few extra special effects um, documentaries on it, how they did the special effects, which isn't on the special features of this one. So, like I say, it's pretty much the similar design on the front. It's got the T-800, but yeah, I do love this, this film, and I had to pick that up for 50p. Couldn't leave that one behind a boot sale. Um, aliens, you know, again, I enjoy my alien films. I watch them on a regular basis, especially Aliens. Um, alien 1 is brilliant. Aliens is absolutely superb. Although a lot of people have split opinions about Alien and Aliens. However, we can all agree that they should have finished at Alien 3. But no, they carried on. So I've, uh, I've got the, the DVD box set, the Quadrilogy here, uh, which is... Alien, Aliens, Alien 3 and Resurrection um, When little Steve saw that I only had the DVD box set He kindly sent me the Blu-ray version So when he was trading stuff in for CEX He was thinking about me and he picked this bad boy up for me Which again is Alien, Aliens, Alien 3 and Resurrection So I've now got them on Blu-ray and there's one more um, that I really enjoy, and I, I talk about it quite a bit, is Howard the Duck. Now, I've got the DVD version of this. Now, Little Steve upgraded his copy to 4K um, Steelbook, and I was quite jealous because I was too busy getting drunk in Liverpool, and he was out sourcing in CEX when we were supposed to be having a fun time at the meetup. And he got it and I didn't. So he's going to send me over his Blu-ray version of Howard the Duck. And then, you know, I'd have it. Now, don't get me wrong, ladies and gents. I am not stingy off little Steve. It sounds like he's sending me quite a bit here. Um, but I do send stuff down to him on the, uh, on the occasion as well. Um, and I do offer him money as well for these as well. It is much appreciated. He's trying to drag me up to the, the 21st century 
um, into Blu-rays instead of DVD. So it is much appreciated, Steve. Thank you very much. Um, on that note, what do I do with my DVDs now? Do I sell them at car boot sales? Obviously, I'm keeping the Predators and Terminator one because it's part of them up there. Um, do I sell them at car boot sale? Or do I keep them for a movie chats giveaway one week? I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you think. Um, what I should do with them. Because I'm, I'm a collector. I'm not a seller. So, yeah. It's one of those things. Now, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, we do regular content. Little Steve shares his collection and his, his Blu-rays and everything on a regular basis. That's ever-growing. Um... I do reviews and stuff like that. Plus, we've got our live show on a Thursday night where we talk about what we've picked up each week. We have a homework movie that we review. We have a look at a complete year, the good, the bad, and the ugly of that year. Uh, what's the highest gross in films? Who's the highest gross in actors, etc. Um, we also talk the latest movie news, and we have a segment called Free For All, which is your ticket to come on the show and take it into whichever direction you want. Uh, talk about what you've been watching on the TV, what movies you've been to see, what cool pickups you've got, etc, etc. This week is slightly different though, because we are also launching Movie Chats Extra. Now, this is the first time that we've hosted a live stream with special guests coming on outside of the normal format of the show. Now, this is on Sunday at quarter past seven. So what we've done is that we've reached out to a couple of our favourite channels that we like to watch um, and they're going to come on and we're going to talk movies and TVs. Now we've got no agenda, we've got no direction for the show, we're just going to chat and see where it takes us. If it's good, we'll bring it back and if it's not good, we'll work on it and we'll bring it back anyway. Um, so I'm hoping to see you on Thursday night and on Sunday night at quarter past seven, both shows. Um, and we'll see you there so don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel like and subscribe to this video leave comments as well let me know what you should what i should do with the dvds um, and yeah hopefully i will see you soon on another video or on one of the live chats um, that's my cat come to say hello okay ladies and gents and on that note i'll say bye bye and i'll see you on thursday bye bye